Rectangles, your Windows Management Utilities app. Hey, we're back with another video. In this video, we'll be talking about Rectangles. In our last video, we installed a bunch of different applications. And throughout the rest of this series, we'll be configuring, setting up, and looking at each one of those sections. Now, if you haven't installed Rectangles, please go back to the second video where we install all of our applications and run through that and then come back to this video. Okay, so let's get started here. If you don't know what a Rectangles is, it's a Windows Management Utilities app. Similar to what Windows 10, Windows 7 had where you would snap your windows to each edge and it would just take up half the screen or uh, a quarter of the screen. Okay, so let's open up our finder. We'll get a new, new window. Let's go to applications. And I haven't opened it up yet. So where is it? Okay, let's open it up. And we'll say open, open in system preferences. And we'll need to unlock this. And give access to this. And rectangles, please select default shortcuts. I'm just going to click recommended. And here we go. Uh, I don't. For me, I take away these ones, and I only keep these. And everything else I kind of just leave the same. Just check here, launch on login, snap window by dragging. Yeah, I think that's all good. There's nothing really, it's pretty much out of the box. It's ready to go. Okay, let's open up a uh, finder window. And let's open up terminal as well. So we have a couple different windows to work with. Now that we have rectangle set up, which is right here in the top here. And if you want to go and change the settings again, you can go here and hit preferences. This will show back up where you can go and modify your, your hotkeys or your shortcuts if you want. If you find it, it's conflicting with anything that you're doing with other programs. But by default, it, it runs pretty well. With that set up, you can do hold control and option on your keyboard. And with the arrow keys, you can do left, right, top, and down. So it maps your window to a half of a screen. A left half, right half, top half, bottom half. Now it can also do this with uh, two screens and it can overlap as well. Now I find this a little bit more beneficial than the full screen that is built in with Mac OS where you go like this and you do a split. Just because there's a little bit more flexibility, I can do that and I can also move things around if I want to, if I want to grab other things, if there's other windows behind it. You can also do a full screen, control option, enter, uh, control option, delete to reset it back. You can do uh, half or thirds, control E. And if you hit control E again, it'll, it'll go from uh, two thirds from the left to the right. You can also do control option D and it'll do one thirds. And if you keep hitting it, it'll just cycle through. And I can do this with having it two thirds like that. So a third and two thirds, or if I want and make this two thirds. Also with uh, similar to on Windows operating systems, Windows 10 or seven, I think you can go and snap it. So you can go to the left and snap it like that. And you can go to the right and snap it like that. This will do, I think here, maybe you can change this in the settings, but I'd rather just use the hotkeys and just go like that if I wanted to go full. I just find it a little bit faster. Now, a big benefit I found if you're working in a multi-screen, uh, multi-monitor setup, if you have them stacked vertically or usually vertically because if you're dragging it up and you're bringing it up, and with the way that macOS has their screen set up, if I have 
my window kind of half and half, it'll take priority in which half. And if you're dragging it up and down vertically, sometimes this part of your uh, window gets hidden and you can't drag it anymore. Happens a lot with Photoshop or Illustrator, I find, if you're dragging it up and down. And say it was like that, and on your bottom half of your, uh, on your, on your lower screen, it's showing the bottom, but this gets cut off, then you won't be able to drag it. And if you don't have a zoom on your application that it happened on, then you're, you have to go into your settings, system preferences, into display, rearrange your arrangements and have it reset. And that's kind of a pain. Now with this, as long as the say was like that, and you couldn't access it anymore. As long as your window's active, you can just go back and use these hotkeys or shortcuts to remap it to full screen. And you can drag this and bring it back down. So that was one huge benefit I found if you have a, a stacked monitor setup. You can also do quarters as well. If I had, let's say I had four terminals, I could do control option I, K, J and U. So I have four different ones here. In case you wanted to do that, you can also have this as uh, down here. So you're at least multitasking pretty well with your with your screen real estate. That's all I really wanted to cover with this video. Hopefully you find this rectangles windows management useful and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the content so far. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment down below. To stay updated with the latest content from the channel, you can subscribe by clicking right here in the middle.